You're either for the Constitution or you're for just parts of the Constitution. That's right. So if you're for the whole Constitution, then understand that the founders at the Constitutional Convention, go back and read the uh, the, the documentation around it. Uh, it. Late in the convention, they only had one provision of Article 5, which was for Congress to be able to amend the Constitution. George Mason stood up at the Constitutional Convention and said, wait a minute, are you saying that the only people who are going to able to restrain to to put restraints on the federal government is the is the Congress. Well, you know, we we know how that's going to end. And we say they have to have a mechanism for the people through their state legislature to uh, to to limit the power of the federal government. Uh, 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 Elbridge Gary from Massachusetts and Governor Morris from Pennsylvania went drafted this amendment, brought it back to the floor. And guess what? Every amendment that was offered during the Constitutional Convention to the original Constitution was hotly debated, divisively debated, very close votes. This one was debated, was not debated at all and passed unanimously. They understood because they were all state legislators. People forget that, that the the states formed the United States, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. They wanted the people through their state legislature, the body closest to them, to be the ones at the top of the food chain. And for people to say, well, you're you're abusing the Constitution. The Constitution was set up for the states to be the ones who had the power. And if you don't want the uh, conven- uh, the Article Five Convention of states, you are undermining the very basic premise of the yeah. United States Constitution. 